My name is Eric Strand, and this is a Video Bits tutorial. I had to batch process and remove audio tracks from a bunch of B-roll clips the other day, and I came across a script that's really handy, simple, quick, effective, saves you a load of time. It's from Precision Post, and it's a very small application that comes in a zip folder. The only thing is that you need QuickTime Player 7, and they haven't tested it on a non-pro version of QuickTime 7. So just note that, but most uh, post-production people will, will have this on their computer. I downloaded it, dropped it in my applications folder, opened it up, click proceed. Choose your clips, choose a destination folder. I'll put it on my desktop and a no audio folder. And then you choose which tracks to delete. Now I'm going to show you that in this example, I'm going to get an error from the script and I don't know Apple script. I'll be upfront about that. I don't know Apple script and I don't know why I get that error. And I'll show you that here. Now I'm sure somebody out there can figure it out and adjust the Apple script. But what I did figure out was that if I open my applications folder, drag the clips, onto the application itself so it acts like a droplet. I choose my folder of where I want to save the clips. And now I choose to remove the audio tracks. Now the application works and you can see it going to work. If you have a long form video that you're removing the track from, you will actually see a dialog box pop up that says QuickTime's flattening the video after it removes the audio tracks. But you'll see that the file is processed successfully. If I go over to the desktop, and I'll do a little comparison here. I'll open this up in QuickTime. Apple J, you'll see a timecode track and a video track. If I go to my source file, Apple J, timecode, video, and soundtrack. So you'll see that the application did remove the soundtrack. It's a fast, quick way to do a load of files in a very short amount of time. But again, really cool, simple software provided by Precision Post. So thanks to those guys for that.